This is going to be a quick video on how to uh, install and operate the new app SuperLive Plus. SuperLive Plus is replacing Eclipse Live. If you have Eclipse Live on your phone, it should continue to work. I see no reason to uninstall and add this one. It's pretty much if you get a new phone or you're getting a new system, you're going to want to start with SuperLive Plus. You're going to go to your app store, either through Android or Apple, and download it and install it. It is a free app, so if you see a page asking for money, it's not from the app. It's from your Play Store or your App Store. Just use the skip button, I would guess. Here's a quick screenshot of the, uh, the apps page, SuperLive Plus. When you search for it, SuperLive is one word put together, Oop. and Plus is the second word. There's a picture of the icon. So once you open the app, it's going to take you through a few first-timer screens that you're going to have to swipe through or click OK. You'll never see them again. They're just instructional, instructional informational screens. Ultimately, you'll wind up at a page that says Start or Local. You want to click the Start button, and that will take you to this Add a Device page. If you've already been into the app playing with it, it may skip this page and it may take you to a page that says live with some empty camera windows in the top. If that happens, that's fine. Just go to the top right corner and there's a little square with a couple switches in it. Tap on that. It will take you to an empty server list. And in that server list, there's a plus sign in the top right corner. Click the plus sign. It will take you directly back to this page. If you're moving over from the old app and you have a previously installed system, uh, typically we'll leave a notepad on your computer, which will look something like this. It will typically be called Barn Camera Notes if you need to search for it. Um, it won't say Super Live Plus in the parentheses right here. It will say Eclipse Live, but the numbers are going to be the same. The operation is pretty much identical. So what you're looking for on this page is on a computer at home and on a computer away. For all people right now, we're going to start on away because the new installs only have this away number. So if you're a new install, you're going to have this last page of the instruction sheet that's going to look like this. On the very last sheet, you'll see a handwritten number right here, number 8. It will start with an N, and uh, you want to copy that entire number down or at least have this page in front of you when you're entering the numbers. If you have neither the instruction sheet or your old numbers saved from your computer in front of you, but you do have the app Eclipse Live on your phone, you can go into Eclipse Live and go to the server list. In other words, you go in, hit the top left corner, go to the second line, hit server list, then you'll see an entry for home and away. Tap the pencil and paper to edit each of them and copy down the information on each page. But for everybody else, we're going to continue on by entering our numbers into this page. So from the top down, I've entered my unique N number, and be sure to make sure what you're looking at is a zero or an O. If it's a zero and it's handwritten, we typically put a line through it. If it's an O, it's usually lowercase. On the second line, you want to add the word away. This is only going to work at home or away, but it does use internet, and it is subject to slow internet, so typically we just use this when you're not at home. The third line is going to be your username, admin, and the last line is your password. Um, older machines will be one, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, newer machines since the summer of 2018 will typically be six, five, four, three, two, one. Once you get done, you want to hit the done, and then you will have to hit the preview button. You will not have the save option on your phone. At this point, you'll probably see a few first-timer informational screens. You can look over the screens. They're just going to give you some, some tips, and ultimately you hit OK, and you should get to your cameras. And when you get to your cameras, you want to double tap on one of them so you have that on full screen. And to put the cameras in high definition, you're going to tap on the video screen one time. You're going to look like for an icon that looks like an eyeball right there in the top middle. Once you select that, you're going to put it in super definition. Now, on my screen, it's very clear. On your screen, it may look like crayon because of the uh, capture program I'm using here. So to switch back and forth uh, between home and away once they're all programmed in, um, you're going to use this little drop-down arrow right here, and you'll see both home and away and a play button next to them. You hit the play button, it goes to that camera. If you go sideways with your phone, it should take it to full screen. And if you take your thumb and your fingers and you spread them apart, it should snap you into a, a, a zoomed-in about four multiplier. You can take your finger and move it around or look and see what you need to see where you need to go. 
So for those who are using this video for new installs, um, this is probably as far as you're going to get to go in the app at this time. You're going to need to go to your instruction sheet and follow that through. It will direct you to a two-part video on our website, or you're welcome to give us a call, and we will remote in and set up a static local IP address that you can then enter into the phone or we'll help you enter, so that when you're viewing this from home, you're using the local network only. You're not going through the Internet to look at your own barn. At this point through a way, we are going through a, a server in California to come all the way back to our own barn. For all others who are already programmed up and know your numbers, uh, you're just moving over to a different because of a different phone, uh, we'll go ahead and put in the, uh, the home information. So I've got a lot of stuff in here, but we're just going to go into the server list by hitting the, I'll do that again, the top right corner little square with the switches. We're going to hit that, and we're going to hit the plus sign to take us to an added device page. Now, since I already know what my local number is, we're going to go ahead and enter that directly. Let's do it the easy way here. Now, if you noticed, I entered 192, 168.1.2. Yours will be different, but it's going to end with that last group of numbers. If you're copying these numbers from a phone from a previous install, you're going to see colon 80 at the end of your IP or local IP address. You do not enter that colon 80. You omit that when you copy it down. The phone will add colon 80 to it. If you put it in there, it's going to wind up with colon 80, colon 80, and it won't work. So we're going to go ahead and give it a nickname of home. The user is admin, lowercase, and the password is going to be the same that we used for the home. So now we're logged in under the home network and you'll find that it's much more responsive and a little quicker because it's not using any internet. We can take it in, we can go sideways, and since we already turned it into high resolution on a previous thing, it'll probably already be there. I guess it was already in super. And again, we can zoom that out to see what we need to see. Snowing in Kentucky. All right, well, I hope this video was helpful. Um, the only other thing I didn't cover is, is you have a hard drive on your system and you need to review recorded data, you can, uh, I would put the, uh, do this on home typically, it's going to be easier. If you're away, it'll work, it just takes longer because you're going through the internet. So we'll go to camera two on this case. We'll go down to the very bottom and you'll see a little movie reel right down here. We'll click on that. And that's going to take us into the, uh, the recording section. Now the first time you do this is going to give you a little info screen. So we'll take the slider and we'll put it over to about 9 o'clock this morning. And then we're looking at 9 o'clock this morning. If we want to go back to about 7 a.m., there's 7 a.m., 6, and we're dark. This is an older camera, so the infrared's not very, very hot on it. So uh, lastly, if you're having trouble with the, uh, the home network, you want to make sure that your phone is on Wi-Fi. It needs to be on the same Wi-Fi that your antenna system or your barn system is plugged into. It will only work um, at your location and only if your phone or your tablet or your computer is logged on to the local network, either through Wi-Fi or an Ethernet cable. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions or problems, give us a call, but this should cover pretty much um, the installs for new people as far as the away network and the home and the away for people who are just converting over to this new app. Thank you. Have a great day.